Hi, I'm Nancy Schultz Adams, and I'm an Oasis tutor. I started 2016, the fall of 2016. And actually, I knew before I was going to retire that the first thing I was going to do as a volunteering experience was to join uh, the Oasis Institute and Tutor for Children. I had a uh, student who came to me. She was very shy and lacked confidence. And her teacher wanted her to be able to build on her confidence experience and also to, to you know, develop learning abilities with uh, reading and, and possibly writing. And she was so, so shy. Um, probably a few months after that, when I was getting ready, settling in, we tutored her in the library space. The librarian said, oh, well, by the way, I wanted to tell you that when the classroom was in here, I heard a girl reading out loud to her students and I paused because I thought I recognized her voice and she turned around and she saw that it was my student. And it was such a proud moment for me because confidence building is something, I don't know if there's, you know, a tried and true uh, way to be able to develop that. I think it's just having that one-on-one -on -one and uh, building building trust, building trust in yourself and your abilities. And in this case, she had begun developing confidence and reading so much so that she could, you know, emulate um, reading out loud to other students. And they were actually, according to a librarian, listening uh, attentively to that. So it was a very proud moment for me and I was very proud of her. She um, needed help with reading and with writing. And um, over time, we, you know, read a variety of books. We used the method of, you know, the shared reading, rereading, where we would take a sentence or you would take a page. And, um, and we also focused on the punctuation at the end of, at the end of each uh, a sentence. And, uh, you know, how you, when you're reading out loud, you know, that's a key to, you know, the inflection in your voice or your excitement. And she really embraced that. And so I found that, you know, at first, it seemed like I was doing most of the reading and she was rereading. And after a few months, she would just take off and I would have to say, um, well, should I take a turn? It just it just grew naturally out of that one-on-one uh, -on -one work with the relationship. Um, yes, he would send an email occasionally about, you know, how well she's doing. Um, the feedback, of course, from the librarian was, you know, overwhelming. Um, and uh, at the end of the year, she asked me, uh, her mother wanted to send a thank you card, which was the first time that I had, I had gotten that. And I thought, oh, wow, you know, but I, I don't think you'd, you know, you'd go into tutoring. I mean, I didn't anyways, you know, seeking, you know, approval. It was just something that you wanted to, um, you know, give for, you know, your time for the child. And, um, but, you know, it was kind of a nice bonus at the same time. I, I guess I would have to honestly say that, you know, even though it's 30 minutes of tutoring time uh, once a week, it turned out to be one of the highlights of my week and also um, probably the best best part of my day. You, I, I think some people think that they need to have um, teaching credentials to be able to tutor. And uh, even though there, I'm sure there's you know, plenty of teachers who do tutor once they're retired. You really just need to be able to have um, patience and uh, the love, the love of, well, the love of children's literature, obviously. But, um, you know, being able to um, work, take pride and have gratitude in helping young people achieve, achieve um, some milestones of their own. There's so much 
support. I mean, it really is a strong support network with Oasis. Uh, the buddy system is nice where you have, um, just like if you have general questions, you know, you can contact, you know, your your buddy. It's kind of a small group of other people and someone who's been maybe tutoring for many, many years. Um, there's also a great, you know, training program. You have, um, you know, your first initial training and then if you have um, two meetings a year plus, you know, the buddy system and um, um, there just is, I mean, you're just not alone in this. Um, so, and, and um, I was a Girl Scout leader. I had family daycare for several years. Uh, I just love reading books to my children. So it's a great opportunity to be able to to do that again. I always kind of have uh, the rule and the rule of three, um, you know, be prepared. So, you know, you want to have your, your you know, lesson plan of sorts. So, uh, you know, you want to go into your tutorial session with your child, you know, knowing what you're going to be doing within that 30 minutes. Um, stay flexible and uh, expect the unexpected because you could, you know, you could be, well, one week I walked off and uh, drove over to the school and realized that I left my book bag with all my materials at home. And so, well, okay, we're in the library. So we spent that half hour, you know, scouring the bookshelves to find a book to read. 